And we're back. Wow, that was fast. Here we go, dragging the plant. If you guys don't remember, go watch the last video because there's absolutely nothing I can say to recap or capture the essence of what just occurred. See. All right. That's our cue. Break shit central. Why is everyone just washing? Like, is this what they wanted? Did they want a flesh monster? Oh, good. It's one of these. Ah, uh, here we go. Hmm. They're helping me. Why are they helping me? There's no reason these people should help me. This is a room full of people staring blankly at me. Oh. They could lock me down here. That's cute. There's a way out. And we'll find it. Won't we, fellas? Thank God the crazy lady, crazy fish lady, gave us the breathing underwater ability. Ah, here we go. There we are, and we're out. Convenient they had that cell, though. Man, what would the mer lady say if she could look at me now? Man, the kid. Is the kid gone? I mean, think about everything the kid did to survive. And now... This is his existence. God damn. Maybe he's still in there somewhere. Oh god, I hope he is. Because this is... This isn't something anyone should have to be... I mean, look at us. Just charge this down. Oh, look at that. The forest. Actually, oh my god, we were in a mountain. How high up were we? Oh, 
Oh. I don't have any control. Are the people kind of... I don't, I don't have a single bit of control. I'm going to wrap up my thoughts here in a minute. I just wanted to make sure that was the end. Oh, so that um, was the game. I just don't even know what to say about what just happened. No control. All right. Um, oh, what do you want me to say, guys? That was that was the game. That was Play Dead's Inside. Um. Jesus. Sometimes stories don't have a happy end. Or maybe that was a happy ending. I was going to say some stories don't have it, but maybe that was supposed to be the happy ending here. I mean... Uh, I don't have a damn clue what to say. I mean... What I want to know is why. What happened? What was going on where someone said, let's... I'm assuming the worms were the mind control, like I said. So why did someone say, let's shove these worms in people and mind control them? And what was up with the mask society? Because the scientists and stuff that were herding me into the pit where I fell and stuff, they, they didn't have masks on... Um, the guards, the people watching me in the procession had the masks on. I mean, no one had it down in the freaking weird thing. And then, okay, then I rolled down the cliff. Like, so in my mind, there's just, I mean, because this is the forest where I was, right? And then I went up into the city, and then I just kept going down. Oh, I'm sorry, this isn't on the camera. And here's the forest, right, kind of level. I went up into the city a little bit. And it just kept going down and down and down. And then to still fall off a cliff. Where in the world? Like, is this a research base built in Mount Everest? I mean, and then the underwater ocean and... Oh, my gosh. 
There's just so much in this game. So much crazy, cool, insane stuff in this game. Um, if I had known this was only going to be like five minutes worth of play, and I would have kept it in the other video, but I, I guess it's good that I left it out so that I have just a little bit of time to talk about it and talk about, you know, what happened. I mean, the kid is gone. Like, I mean, we didn't have a name, a voice. We didn't have, we barely had sounds for the kid. But he is gone, and there's something really sad about that. But at the same time, I mean... I was in control. I'm assuming the kid had... There he is. I'm assuming he had control over that glob. I'm assuming that it was his... his, um, directions. That the whole... Mass, uh, massive organism were following. I mean, this kid, maybe it was a story about willpower, or maybe it was a story about struggle and that sometimes struggle doesn't work out. I mean, because no, no justice was served here. The kid, he didn't escape, um, as himself at least. He didn't, he didn't get, um, he didn't get back at... He killed, I guess, the CEO. Maybe that was. But, I mean, everyone else was still fought. I mean, with the CEO, they're all still alive. The people in the masks. I mean, what's sad is maybe he would have been better off not being here. Not trying to escape. Maybe... He would have been just fine. I mean, he would have been a slave. But he wouldn't have been... Wouldn't have been that thing. That's for sure. I mean, yes, time isn't linear. It's got branching paths and stuff, but... Maybe if he had been captured instead of running away... Maybe the life as the slave wouldn't have been as bad. Or maybe someone else would have come along and ended that. And, uh... And he wouldn't have been the one... in a fucking meat blob. The bottom of a cliff. Uh, on a lake. You know, right, right by the lake. And why did the meat blob stop? Maybe it would have been better if they had gone something like this. I don't know. I don't know. I think that's all the thoughts I have on this game. I think that's all I've all I've got. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go. This is uh, and I hope you guys felt. I hope this game made you feel as much as this game has made me feel. Um, it's made me feel a lot. Like I don't, I can't explain how. But. But it has. Um, all right. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. My name is Zach Foxdale, and uh, as always, I will catch you in the next video. Okay, maybe there'll be mushrooms. I saw it. I saw the last onion. I just, I just killed someone. He was the father of six. Jesus. What was that? <laughs> he was scary when he jumped out of the door. <laughs> I saw him.